Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this project today, we are going to look at how to make a simple Bluetooth controlled car based on a Raspberry Pi Pico. Two DC motors drive the wheels and I used the swivel caster wheel that I had laying around in a workshop. I made this app to control the car in MIT App Inventor and the motors will stop when you stop pressing the button. Here is a quick demonstration. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the Nerd Cave. And for more content related to the Raspberry Pi Pico and so much more, press that subscribe button. We are very close to reaching 1K. So let's go through all the steps that we need to follow to make your own Bluetooth car. You will need the following components to follow along. Two DC motors with wheels, a swivel caster wheel, a half size breadboard, Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins, and a lot of wire. I used six male to female jumpers, two male to male jumpers and a single core wire that I cut accordingly to connect the motors and power. The LN298N motor driver module and the HC-05 Bluetooth module. I have done two videos separately on this. And finally, we'll need power. I am using two 3.7 volt lithium ion cells in series with this quick connector. I first started with the base, which I designed in Fusion 360, keeping it simple as possible. Then I cut out the base with a laser cutter using 3mm plywood. You do not need to use this base and you can use anything that you have available at home. Start by mounting the caster wheel and securing it to the base with 4 nuts and bolts. After this, you can mount the motor driver on the other side. Once it is mounted, we can move on to the motor. It does not matter which side is switched on the wires, as we will control the direction the wheel will turn later with the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will need to solder two cables to the motor terminal. When you solder the wires, make sure the connection is good by giving it a gentle pull. We can then use a hot glue gun to glue the motors to the base. All we have to do now is make all the necessary connections to the Pico. Here is the schematic diagram of all the connections you have to make. After making all the connections, we need to have the power disconnected from the battery and remove the 5 volt from the motor driver before we plug it into the Pico into the computer through the USB. The code for this project and the Android app are available in my GitHub repository. Download the main.py and the Bluetooth underscore card.aia file for the MIT app vendor to edit the app or the APK to install the app that I have made on your phone. In Fonny, click on View Files, navigate to the downloader code, right click on main.py and click on Upload To. Let's have a quick overview of the code. We import a few libraries and define our UR baud rate. We then define our motor pencil's output and set our PWM to control the motor speed. We then create five functions, which is turn left, turn right, move backward, move forward and stop. Now, very important, if your motor is not turning in the right direction, either change the low and high, or swap the two cables in the input of the motor driver. In our main loop, we constantly check the Bluetooth to see if a button is pressed by looking at the data received from our app once the button is pressed. We also check what the speed is to set it, and if nothing is being sent through the Bluetooth, the default function which will be called is stop. That is all our code from the Pico side. Now let's go over to the MIT App Inventor. We create a simple interface where you can connect to the Bluetooth module by selecting a device and have the buttons to control the movement and the slider for the speed. For the blocks, we check what button is pressed and depending on which button it is, we will send a text which our picker will execute by calling the correct function. If we let go of the button, it will call the stop function. If you want to know more about the MIT App Inventor, watch my previous video or subscribe for a future tutorial on this. Once the app is on your phone, Connect to the robot car and have some fun. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.